Uh, Dave Mamak 6 for Gia Cutler TV, and we are in El Mani at the beautiful place of uh, bodybuilding champion Kathy LaFrancois. Kathy, welcome to Muscle Beach TV. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you on. I had to have you on um, because people have been asking about you since we uh, we shot a little bit last time with, with Joe from Project AD, and they saw a glimpse of you, and, and Jerry, of course, I uh, saw the video and, he, and people have been asking, oh my God, is that Kathy LaFrancois? You need to get her on. We want to know what she's been up to. It's been forever since we saw her. So here we are. I just wanted to uh, give the fans what they wanted. Um, so I guess people are missing you. Um, tell me, um, we're in your beautiful home gym right now. That's where we're talking to you in, in El Mani. Um, it's, been, it's been a minute since you actually competed. How many years has it been already? Uh, 2016. You know, because you looked it up because you couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. It's okay. I'm like, when was, the, when, when was my last show? I don't know. Uh, let me go check it out. <laughs> and it was uh, Toronto, correct? Yeah. correct? Toronto, Canada. Uh, well, so you finished pretty much where you started. It wasn't Montreal, but it was Toronto. Exactly. Um, so tell me a little bit um, uh, what, what you've been up to since then. You've been, obviously, you've been, you know, building this beautiful gym. This is all the equipment, by the way, that you and Lee used to own back when you had your own gym in uh, Lancaster, right? I was there for that, actually. Uh, not all of them. Not all of it? Um, a lot of it. Yeah, the, the, the best one I like the most is the, the tough stuff, the mm -hmm. power, you know, pro performance stuff. Um, that's the one that I really like. That one is really strong and, yeah. and it's like uh, gym equipment, so it's not homemade. Uh, but mega, I have Pyrotech, the stuff we had before, but mm -hmm. I still, you know, make it a bit better by making stuff with them. And yeah. so, yeah, it's, it's working it, good. <laughs> it's funny because I was, I don't know if you follow bodybuilding anymore, or if you follow, you know, RX, or he's on RX Muscle all the time, Lee, and he was actually talking about the home gym, which I remember because I remember when you moved out of Lancaster, I actually went over there. I don't know if you remember to help you move out of there, you know. So I remember the the big barn with all the stuff in it. Like you had quite the gym back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, outside, right? Yeah. It was uh, kind of outside in the garage stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but my God, the hill pass so. How many so years was that? <laughs> 20 years, I guess. Oh I don't know I because don't know. Uh, it's been a long time enough. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, it that's seems like forever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Shortly after 03, I would think. The what? Short, uh, shortly after 2003. Because I remember in 2003 when yeah. you won the Arnold, you know, you were still yeah. over there. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's when uh, I, yeah. I turned uh, my yeah. life around. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so tell, tell the people, what have you been up to since, because um, you started this gym way before you actually retired. You were still competing when you put this gym together and you were training people here. You had a few, you know, uh, clients, you had circuit training. You still train some people sometimes, not as much, right? Uh, you know, the truth, uh, this is only, was only for me and training partner here and there. Um, but uh, I never opened the gym for anyone. I was not training anybody. I never did that before. Okay. I hated it so badly. Why? I don't know. I you don't have the patience? I don't know. It's like uh, you go to grocery and somebody asks you, oh, are you a personal trainer? And then mm, I get like all insulted, you know, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just... No, I'm a pro bodybuilder. I'm not a personal trainer. No, I just, no, I don't like to talk about it. Mm. I just never like it. To me, it's like, a, you know, like people ask you like, oh, I want to run my pro card so bad. I want to be IFBB pro. And I was just like, what for? And I'm like, why? I, I don't get it. I never get it. Anyway, when I turned pro, I didn't know I turned pro. Somebody said, hey, you turned pro. I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> What I mean? <laughs> what year was that that they you actually said, got pro? Now you're time? gonna make some money. You're gonna do competition in U.S. I was like, really? And at that day, I was still not believing that. What year was that that you got pro? Uh, you became a pro. Do you remember? I gotta ask you. Do uh, he you remember? don't remember? Anything. You remember? Scott. Scott. 1995. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Scott remembers all the stats. <laughs> He's like a genius. Yeah. He's a Google. <laughs> That's right. He's a Google guy. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. I so did you? Did you? Um, did you build the gym because you just didn't want to go in commercial gym? Because I know, I mean, you used to go to Gold's once in a while. I mean, so many people have lived in this place. So many great champions. Iris Kyle, Ben Pakalski, Hide Yamagishi. Yeah. Like so many more. I'm sure a lot. I'm forgetting a lot. But would you, did you not want to go to commercial gyms anymore? Is that why you built this place? What was the reason? No, I, no, I had the equipment. It's the only thing I had. You know, just like I moved here, uh, you know, after that. Uh, 
for what I do. I need to turn around, and that's the thing I had. So I was like, okay, I got to do something with it. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember we was living in the back of yeah, the house, the and house, yeah. the gym equipment was in the, in the garage and outside. And yeah. and I would see this house every day, and I was just all the time say, that's my house, that's my little castle. I would always just <laughs> say that just for, you know. And um, I don't know, I, I saw that place too in 2000, uh, when I did the Arnold Classic, you know, Scott showed me this in, the, in 2003. Yeah, that's why it is. Yeah, they was building this house. Yeah. Uh, and I remember go down and Scott was saying like, here, see, you can have a gym here and stuff. And I was just like, oh, it never came to my mind. I never really think about the future. Yeah. I, I live day to day, you know, and yeah. I just follow and do my thing. And well. I'm trying to make myself happy every day, you know, it's nothing, no big deal. But, and uh, when I did, uh, Arnold Classic in 2008. Um, well, that's the f only time that I really did A to Z listen to coach, the trend, the cardio, do not cheat at all. Uh, 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 that was the first and only time that I. <laughs> you followed the plan. I didn't exactly. be stubborn and do what Kathy wanted to do, mm -hmm. you know? And um, so I, I worked my ass, and I was always sad, like, you know, something gonna come out of it, you know, that's impossible. You know, because I never did the right thing, and it was always get lucky, I guess, blessed about, about everything. But now, I was like, well, if I did all the effort, something was gonna come back of that. I'm yeah. gonna win the show or what, you yeah. know? And I got six that here, you know? But it's, it felt like I did win the show, like everybody was just like, you know, you should do well, better. And it was like, you see, they was asking to, you know, 20% uh, less and all yeah. that stuff with it so I was like well this maybe it's good for me maybe that's my time and uh, so it was uh, I got six I was kind of you know didn't say to my mind I'm gonna win the show I never did that because I I didn't think you know like you know why <laughs> it, I'm very weird you know I just do it do it you yeah. know and and what I always said hopefully that's gonna be my lucky day you know what I yeah. mean so um, I never really been uh, so like you know, some, some people, they're so angry and anger about, like, oh, I'm going to win, I'm going to yeah. do this and that, and it's too much, you know, and yeah. I never liked those kind of... So you didn't trust, stress yourself about that it. that stuff, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it was kind of like uh, my own world, my own training, my own thing, and I was said, well, I'm going to do this. I'm sure somebody's not doing that. So always do the extra mile, mm -hmm. thinking that if, some, if I'm doing it, I'm going to do more because... I'm sure I'm doing more than that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and so to me, the extra mile, that's what pay off, you know? So it's like, uh, if I didn't do my lunges outside, you see the, mm -hmm. long <laughs> if I didn't do that, uh, to me, I was just like, whoa, I don't deserve the win. Yeah. But if I did like that six times, yes, I do deserve the win. So I'm always be that kind of focus and that was my way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So um, talk about all the, the people that you started having um, living at your house. How did it come about that Iris stayed, uh, lived here and Ben and Hide and all those people? How, how did that happen? Well, that's why when I moved here, here it was in 2008 when I, I got sick. So, and I was like, well, what I did all this work for, you know, why I did all that effort and nothing happened. And I was like, yeah, yeah, God thing. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, I was kind of like angry a little bit mm -hmm. about like, well, I got that wrong, you know, I thought you was working hard and you was getting payback for it. But now I was still outside and I was kind of depressed. It was the weekend after the and all I was sitting down, I was like, geez, well, you know, that hit you, you know, you yeah. focus for a month and month and then lay back, it's over. Yeah. Oh, wow, Whew, okay, you kind of a little bit uh, disturbing yeah. and you kind of lost a little bit for a time, like, okay, what I do now? Yeah. And uh, so I, I sit there and suddenly daddy show up, it's got dad and, say, hey, well, how you doing, blah, you know, I tell him about all that stuff, you know, it's like, so then he's like, uh, well, uh, come with me, so we walk in, and so then they give me the key, said, you like the house, huh, he said, those people left the, the time you was gone, he knew about it, they, 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 they was leaving, That's right, he but was he didn't tell while, me, exactly, yes. so he didn't tell me, but he knew I was like the place, and he said, here, you want to move? This is what's gonna cost. <laughs> this is exactly. what you gotta do. Yeah. And and uh, I'm like, all right. 
And I knew that if I was telling that to Scott, it would be like, hell no, because he hates this place, you know, really? Scott. He hates it also, like, uh, really badly. Why, too, bi too big? Um, I th you know how he is. He likes his little thing, mm -hmm. and, you know, he's very, very quiet and stuff. So, and so I, he go work with you and Max yeah. Muscle, yeah. and, like, he came back and go in the back house, and nobody was there. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, <laughs> thought, he thought I took my shit. And, you and moved left. while he was at yeah. work? Wow. So I moved everything, you know, uh, here. And I was, um, there was uh, some uh, little girl, Jan, little Jan, I called her. Um, she was coming train with me once a while outside, and now she's find out like I was moving. So she brought all the family and we move everything wow. that day. Wow, in yeah, one day. Everything, the gym, everything was wow. crazy. So Scott, when he arrived, he think, you know, did she laugh? He think I dump him, you know, like I disappear. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, Scott, you know, he's like, what the heck? Oh so he got God. here, he was like standing at everything, like he didn't know what to say, what to do, but he was not really happy about it, you know, but. Oh, he never told me But that. I organized his little thing and I know what he like. And yeah. I make his little wall, like the garage, you yeah. know, I did that for him, you know, yeah. so he can bring his friend there. So and how much longer after you moved in mm -hmm. here, you said, you know what, my well, place, maybe it's a big place, I have the room, I have, how many bedrooms do you have in here? A lot of bedrooms. I think eight, I guess. Wow, uh, eight bedrooms, yeah. one elevator, <laughs> one gym. <laughs> how many bathrooms? Uh, I think five, six, wow. you know, most every room I have a bathroom, wow. you know, so. So how long did it take for you to actually say, maybe I can, make this kind of like a bodybuilding hotel almost you know it's kind of what you did kind of yeah and uh, now yeah it's just that kind of happened i guess but the scott kind of gave me the idea he always had those great ideas mm -hmm. and and uh and i was just like yeah that's right maybe i can you know mm -hmm. and also then somebody just kind of ask you know mm -hmm. and hey uh, you, you know do you have a place for yep. this person you know yep. and that's not that way you know so it was cool you know yeah yeah, because I was kind of, oh, that would be great, do like some camp and, yeah. you know, stuff like yeah. that, having people staying over for the weekend, yeah. uh, you know, like uh, you saw the back too with the fan stuff, mm -hmm. that is kind of like the kitchen, bathroom there too, and, and table, and I have so many tables here to kind of do some nice seminar stuff, yeah. but I'm not a business person, I just, yeah. nah, I don't, I had so much in the past yeah. in those store and closing line, ca I just kind of too run much. away of business. It's yeah. like, oh, you know, too much. But yeah. so, so I, I, you know, I just want to be happy. So I was like, okay, here and there, somebody show up, and you know, it, it doesn't bother me too much. And I was like, okay, but now I have somebody in most in every room right now. Yeah. But I don't see that. You know, they I always. Know there's never anybody here. You tell me you have people living here. I'm like, where are they? <laughs> I never see anyone. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> So now it's like I don't really train anymore. Like I've been training for one year. Why have you stopped training a year ago? Because <laughs> uh, yeah. you still look great. And when I saw you well, recently, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you haven't lifted in a year. You still look. I look good in clothes on, but <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With clothes on, everything's perfect. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, know, I don't know. After Canada, you know, uh, that show was kind of hard. Uh, I. But not the competition, that's not the, but the prep, uh, yeah. uh, it, it was like a kind of my last time. I knew it. I was like, really? okay, I got enough because this is not amuse me anymore. Mm. Uh, I was, uh, you know, not happy. I, oh, I just. So it was like a job now. I was yeah. tired already. Yeah. And I did it because uh, my real dad was um, having cancer. And uh, so there was like, a, uh, I forgot pancreas stuff, oh. so it's supposed to go super fast, and so I was like, well, I'm going to do it, and I'm pretty much sure I'm going to do well at that show, you know, if I put my mind into it, because yeah. every time I said I'm going to do well and I'm going to win the show, I was, but if uh, I was not focused, I, you know, you yeah. it was like opposite, like yeah. good or bad, yeah. you know, so, um, so I'm like, well, I'm going to do it and uh, do my best. I was kind of, you know, it's probably going to be my last one, so I'm going to do the best I can, and, and I'm going to take that money, and I'm going to continue and go to my, see my dad. Yeah. And I have the image in my head that I would take the picture of my dad in my middle, and kind of have like, see, let's go fight this together, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's, it was hard for yeah. me to do that show, and it was hard for him too, so I kind of told him, I said, let's do this together, you know. So that was my goal, to get there with the gold, but I got the bronze. But 
I change the color a little bit. <laughs> like the color, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> I put like a, you call that a filter, and I make the the gold <laughs> look, look, you know, a little bit. You know, no, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, so what? And um, so I was standing, but and uh, but the truth for all that is like uh, I got sick, you know. Oh, really? You know, I did a lot of show and a lot of stress, and it you know, yeah, the you know the the house, the, the house got health yeah. and all this. Uh, uh, and I got uh, like um, an ulcer in, uh, in my intestine. Oh, really? So uh, you and it still today? Uh, no, okay, no. Okay, back then. Okay. The, yeah, stress. stress, stress yeah, problem. exactly. So my dad, the show, yeah. and all this, all Too at the much. same time, and the think about like what I'm gonna do now. You yeah. know, I didn't know what to do. Uh, I've everything. I did all my life in the training stuff. So talk to me about because do you do you even know how many competition you did total? Did you ever calculate it? I many? think 49, wow. 48 or wow. something. That was like I was the one that I did more show in my career. For the, the Yaksani, oh, she okay. she got me on that one now because she didn't wow. stop. Hmm? So that's a lot of damn show. <laughs> so this th th was my mind question: When yeah. someone competes so much and and uh, your whole life revolves around bodybuilding, I mean you were married to a priest, like your whole life was bodybuilding. Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you make a transition from being a competitive athlete competing all the time to now? being okay, re retired, and I mean, do you feel like there's something missing? Do you miss it sometimes, or how, how is it for you? Beep, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jay says also. Same Beep. thing, he says, I do not miss, but I don't, do not miss competing. So nothing about competition uh, you miss? No. Oh, let me ask you something. What did you like the most about competing back in the day? You must, what was your favorite thing about competing back in the day? Gosh. It, it passed so quick. You know, I'm looking at all those pictures, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's me. It's like a, it never exists. It's so weird, huh? It's like a different life. Yeah, it kind of made me sad because I'm just like, Who is that? what I got yeah. from <laughs> that, all that effort <laughs> and all that work I did, and now I have what from that. And people, they're like, but God, you was pro, you famous, got this. And I'm like, really? I just. You it, don't take yourself seriously. It never yeah. did. Sunk get together in, in my yeah, mind yeah, yeah, that yeah. like 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 oh you're a pro yeah it's a good thing Kathy so you're humble that, you're humble I don't know yeah. it's just like yeah you're, you're I didn't humble. use that yeah, yeah. exactly to it's get what thing. I want you know yeah. um, I, I can't complain I got a really great career you know you like did. I uh, I was famous huh? Damn, I know people I started, listen I was just talking to I was just talking to Laurel Chapados. She dates Sean Roden, which is the you know 2018 Mr. Olympia. Mm. Laura Lee's from Montreal, oh, yeah. and but she's young. She's only like 22, 23, yeah. 24. And I was telling her, um, she was asking me where do you train, and so I was telling her about her. And, I, and I'm thinking, oh, she doesn't know Kathy because she's so young. But when I said your name, she was like, are you joking? Of course I know Kathy. You're <laughs> like this hero back in Montreal. You're like, and even the young people know who you are. Know. She knew who you were. Like she was like, so duh. Weird, yeah. <laughs> of course I know Kathy. So that's kind of cool, you know. Yeah. Well, I forgot she was from Montreal, so it makes sense. You yeah, know? it's funny because I, I, you know, I never really, like you said, uh, like, who care? I'm, I'm Cathy Le Francois, whatever, I know. I'm a pro, but I'm like, who care? I know, it's good that you're but like that. It's, uh, but it's kind of like today when I see, like, I was just, hey, that's right. It's, I remember going to Arnold Classic the first time and could go to the bathroom by myself because everybody was around me and I was nobody at that time, you know. Supposedly, I got something. Yeah. I got this little <laughs> something from the, the gas busy, the little <laughs> nice little people. Do you do you wish? What would you have? What would you have liked to do if you didn't do a career in bodybuilding? What What do you think you would have liked as much, or, or uh, what would you be as passionate about if you didn't do bodybuilding? Did you ever think about that? You know, I've always liked building stuff, like uh, build a house or do stuff like that. I'm really, and I want to do everything, you know, like right now, it is, that's why I've been doing the past year, uh, two years, I guess. I've been really working in the house all the time. I'm uh, organizing and I'm, yeah. I'm like a little silly, you know, like a bit goofy, but I... <laughs> I'm organized freak, you know, it's just like just OCD. In the gym, yeah, just <laughs> a little, clean and organized, yeah. a little, you know, it's not a bad but thing. no, I, like I redo all my closet because the clothes was touching the ground and I, you know, it's all, it's all together, <laughs> everything's perfect now, you know, I, I paint the whole house, the only, 
It took me one year wow. to paint the whole house. Maybe you could have been an uh, interior decorator. Yeah, that would probably, have been nice something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 I probably yeah, did that stuff. But, but you're creative. Too much. So, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> too much. But no, it's fun. But like I said, the gym at some time, I'm like, wow, that, this place is awesome. You know, like our, I was like, when I start training, if I will have something like this, we see something like this, I would be like amazed. Like I know, I was telling Jess, it's listen, insane. it's it, the machine you have, it's like Gold's Gym Venice quality equipment. It's like you can't even tell the difference between what you have and what's in the commercial gym. It's good stuff. And because yeah. I think so, so little people have actually used it, everything is so smooth. It's like still brand new. Yeah, right? it's true, yeah. But I, like I said, I... I like just there, you know, the bench doesn't belong on that, that machine, you know, but I put that together. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you know. make new machines. Yeah, yeah you just think so about I it. have, you know, when we do the back, the angle from the front, the angle of this, yeah. you know, it's, uh, I guess that's why I learned, you know, from the training, you yeah. know, as engineer does do equipment like this, I would be like, uh, yeah. like crazy. Like sometimes like when Tesla bring me that new machine there, that I need to station the mm -hmm. corner one, and uh, I will show even all the stuff I did here. And uh, sometimes I send them the video, like I use the back machine and doing some tricep stuff mm -hmm. and doing a bunch of stuff with that back machine and you will never think, you no, know? No, I know, you're and very uh, yeah. And I send that to them, you know, it's kind of happy to, to show them, hey, look at this thing with my ab machine too behind that. That's awesome, yeah, that ab machine, I know. You know, I wish I had the damn thing when mm -hmm. I was competing. Yeah. I wouldn't have a big belly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you and still go back to Montreal? When's the last time you went to go visit your parents? Um, well, no, I go more often yeah. now. Um, since uh, I think it's like four years now. Since yeah. got back from uh, the after show, yeah, that's yeah. why I did go over there. Yeah. And since then, I go every six months. Oh, nice. Know? Yeah. For how long? Like a couple uh, of weeks? Oh, like by first time, I think I said a month. Really? Three months. You'd have to do what by himself for a month? Yeah. Wow. It's crazy, huh? Wow. I was nervous, but I, <laughs> I have an eye on him all the time. I know. You're watching him. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. got my camera on, and I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Your parents are getting older, so of course yeah, you want to spend more time you know, with them. Well, this, you know, this thing, you know, like I said, I said, um, I did have a great career. I can't complain about it. I have a sponsor, I guess, Barry, you know, yeah. probably the only one I have a real sponsor like that and be paid monthly. I did uh, did a lot of money, but I worked hard too. You, you know, I was just not like there sitting at a table and you were never lazy, looking no. at my mirror. Yeah. The phone was off, and I was working my ass. You know, yeah. like the the company was mine. You know, yeah. so um, when that stopped, I, that's where I was like, whoa, what I do now? You yeah. know, I, I don't want to go back to school. You know, yeah. I I don't know what to do. And now I was checking stuff. I was kind of little. I was like, oh, well, maybe I can be a mail person, FedEx or whatever, you know, stuff like that, or bus driver, like I always love, you know, want to be a bus driver for the city, crazy me. I did all, you know, I, that's my, I guess because, I yeah, I got the C and bus, you remember, yeah. then, you know, reverse on my, my little bike when I was a kid, I was like three years old and he broke my bike, but I was okay, that's a bus, you know, I don't know what I have with the fantasy with those damn bus, you know, wow. but something about bus. Right. Yeah. So I would wanted to do that here but because just beside we have mm -hmm. a station mm -hmm. and always said uh, need need people, right? And uh but I, I can't remember crap. You know, I'm terrible. I was sick and young as as Bad memories. Yeah. Terrible. Okay. You know, terrible, terrible. You know, that's it, I didn't know. You know. Like I have I need to ask God to know about my career, you know, yeah, more yeah. than I do. Oh, yeah. Like, if I don't know anything. Yeah. So it's like, it's because I'm, I'm more an artist. I like to yeah. do stuff, but I, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can't be good at everything, right? Yeah, we exactly. Have our I can't be too perfect already, so that would be terrible. <laughs> 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 well, Kathy, I just, I'm really glad that uh, you came on the show to, yeah. to let people know how you're doing. And, and obviously, yeah, you look I'm very doing good. You you're know? looking happy. Yeah, you're looking I'm good. happy. And it's nice to leave, you know. It's kind of funny. I appreciate, you know, that. And like I said, my biggest regret on everything is just like, didn't see my family. I didn't see that. I didn't see them all get older. I didn't see my brother, sister. I didn't just leave the kid thing, you know. Yeah. I didn't. You know, uh, what year did you move to, so uh, to uh, California? What 2000. Year? 2000, okay. 2000, yeah. So, so 20 years, 20 years wow. already. So now I have my citizenship too. Yeah. So I have to study that one. 
And you remember? Me and my, oh my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. I study every day, 24 hours nonstop. See, if you really I want some, if you really want something, you can remember. Doing my cardio and all that <laughs> stuff. You know, like the driver's license. I need to study, study nonstop. Yeah. And as soon as I'm done, I get the score, like perfect score. Wow. But after that, don't ask me. I came back here and Scott yeah. asked me a question. I was it's like, gone. um. <laughs> I don't know, let me go check. I know it's there at that book. I remember I did a little face there, and you know, I, I can't remember, it's terrible. Well, <laughs> you remember when it mattered, and yeah. now, now yes, you're good. So. Exactly, yeah. but I'm really, very happy. Um, people are still really nice, you know, um, and again, I, uh, I'm sorry, I don't watch the Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. I'm so, so disconnected, you know, I'm so focused on my life now, and my husband, and. Well, now they know. Now, now they'll know what's going on with you. Exactly. Thank, thank you so, so much for coming on the show. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dave Madden, MX6 for Jekyll TV with the great Kathy Francois, and we're out. <laughs>